Nick, what's up, bro? How's it going? Yeah, man, I'm a rival, but nobody's here. Yeah, I'm almost there. Just hang on for a second. Hurry up, because uh, I have no AC and it's hot out here. Hold on, dude. I'm getting pulled over. Looks like one of your guys. Except for I'm going to be able to traffic stop. Oh, I've never seen one of those cars before. Yeah, it's probably just one of the guys. Don't worry about it. All right. All right, man, he's getting out. Hold on. Let me uh, let me call right back. How you doing, sir? I know, I know, I know the routine. License and registration. Oh, you want a popsicle, drum sticker, ice cream sandwich? Opposite Jay! What's up, Nick and the Nod Squad? Back to sunrise, and this is our ice cream truck. So, Officer Jay, what's up? Man, the last time we did a police cars, you told me next time we meet, I'm gonna show you the real car that I patrol in. Is this it? Yeah, a little bit. It's a little closer to what I do. I'm a community resource officer with Sunrise, and we use this for kind of our community policing initiative, and we bring it out to certain events and stuff like that. So this one is a key that I didn't have to steal. Wait, what? Yeah, you told me you needed a cool car. My car's just a Ford Explorer. This is a cool car. Yeah. So I went and I you delivered. grabbed a key off the key rack. Wait a minute, he doesn't know you took it? Uh, no. So, they know you have this one? Yes, yes, they do know. Okay, so what's the backstory? Tell me a little bit about the ice cream truck. Today, guys, we're gonna be covering Sunrise PD's ice cream truck. And let me tell you, probably the coolest car that we're gonna see here on this series. <coughs> eh? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that a good one? Very cool. Very cool. You're gonna hear a lot of those jokes on this episode. <laughs> wah, wah. All right, Nick, as you can see, we have three available flavors. We have green, blue, and red. And then we also have drumsticks, ice cream sandwiches, or as the kids were calling them, chocolate lollipops. Man, let me tell you, I've seen a lot of displays, but this one here, that one takes the cake, man. It's pretty good. It was kind of on the fly. Uh -huh. uh, we had a big event that we did this weekend, so I cut them right off the boxes, slapped them up there. But the kids love it. If you would have never told me that, I could have never told. Man, that was that's good. That's <laughs> you, can't, good. you can't tell. How good I can't it is? tell, man. You did a professional, you did a superb job. <laughs> but it ain't about the quality of the signs, Officer Jay. It's about the ice cream. It's about the ice cream. So you guys actually bought an ice cream truck? No, not really. What we did was we have these uh, every you know every year we have deadline cars and deadline cars are cars that are high in mileage or certain amount of years they've been in service. This van here belonged to our leisure services department. They moved people around within the community, senior center, all kinds of stuff, camps, and it was about to get deadline, so it was gonna go out to auction. Our city held on to it for us, so we didn't have to buy a new vehicle, and we wrapped it with that sweet wrap, and then sent it over to our vehicle services section. They cut out this perfect window, Oh, that's custom window? Custom. Oh, is it uh hurricane proof? What's the point, Ventura? Only this. Ah! 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 No. <laughs> so Ventura, I like it. And then we threw uh, we threw a shelf on, you know, just all the things that you would need for an ice cream truck. The main part the window on the side. So it's pretty cool. So let me come outside and I'll show you a little bit around the outside and then we'll come back in. There 
There he is. All right, so give us a rundown. So, big van. It was Leisure Services van moving people around, so it's got that cool top that gives us room to stand up and move around and everything. We've got a great wrap on here. Um, is this anybody in particular? Is there anybody who modeled for this wrap? I say she looks like one of my partners, Otisha, but Otisha says it's not her. So we'll just say that she's a cartoon uh, female police officer. You didn't, you didn't model for, uh, for that guy right there? That's not you? Um, I do like orange popsicles, but no, it's not me. Okay. So we got the, we got the badge over here. Just like our badge, pretty cool. Protect and serve ice cream. Did you get that top part up there with the sprinkles? Got it. Some more kids because, you know, some of our biggest fans with the ice cream truck. Back, cool tops, the website. See down on the bottom, it's got some cone. Ah, uh, it that looks a, like ice cream cone. Is that a waffle cone? Waffle cone. Waffle cones all day? All day, every day. Sugar cones or waffle cones? Let us know. Yeah, waffle cones. Sugar cones. Waffle cones on the print, but the kids look like they got sugar cones. We'll see what the Nod Squad says. We'll see. So, some more officers. Again, our badge, you know, Sunrise Police, kind of like how we have it on our cars. More protect and serve. Some lightning bolts. Ooh. Don't forget that Star Wars Emperor lightning bolt. This is a complete police package Ford Econoline 250 Woo. van. Woo. That thing got a hammy. Tops out at 55 miles an hour. So everyone always asks, hey, what's under the hood? What do you say we give her a go? Let's check it out. Uh, all right, guys, this is what you asked for. Boom. Look at that. So as you can see, it's a Ford Econoline E250 pushing 111,000 miles. She's seen a lot on the streets. Fun fact, one of the times the radiator was overheating, so we took an IC and we put it on the radiator. Did that really work? No, didn't work at all. We had to wait for it to cool down. Ah, okay. Fun story though. Fun story. Definitely very cool. Uh, never been inside of an ice cream truck before. First time. Yeah, me too. I didn't know there's still ice cream trucks around. Yeah, they bounce around once in a while and stuff like that. You see them, but this is like one of the first ones that you're going to see in South Florida. That's an actual police car and police officers driving it. it. Was pretty basic. Not much in here. We got your deep freezer filled with ice cream and different treats. We got these nice cobalt swivel chairs with rollers so we don't have to hit our heads on the roof. We got our power inverter that runs from the engine, 300 watt or 3,000 watt all the way up to a 6,000 watt surge. That thing's huge, huge, huge. And uh, sometimes an empty box. All right. But that's all we have. We run this thing to a to a shoreline out of the police department when it's parked. That way we can keep the ice cream inside the freezer and it stays cold. And then when it comes time to take off, we switch it over in the engine, put it to the inverter, and now it's running off the engine and the inverter. Nice. All right, so uh, what time is it? It's uh, just after school. Why don't we go do an old fashioned ride along and you can give some kids some ice cream with me. You mean I get to be an ice cream man? You can be an ice cream man, Nick. With the cool cops. Ah!
Are you just cruising? <laughs> yeah, we're just cruising through the neighborhood nice and slow. Give some people time to come out. They can hear the ice cream music. And they know what's up. They know what's up. They know what time of day it is. But it's cool. You drive around and you, you talk to people. And, you know, we had one opportunity where somebody was moving into a house and they came out and then their neighbor next door came walking out and then they got to meet and it was cool they they got to meet each other and they started talking and we were like enjoy your ice cream we've now put you guys together have a good day and we left matchmakers yeah we we're matchmakers <laughs> neighbor makers there you go <laughs> you guys want some ice cream the sandwich first customer of the day would like a sandwich a sandwich here you go buddy watch out for the traffic there's no cars coming you guys want some ice cream from the police Good, how's it going? These are what I have right here. It's all free. Yeah. I was just about to say, I think we're out of red. What's your second choice? The sandwich? Okay. Let's see, so we got a... Oh, I'm sorry. It's the blue one. I gotta, gotta switch. Oh man, I messed all. I messed it all up. <laughs> we're not out of red. Yeah. We have red, but we're out of blue. Uh, all right. So I do have red, but don't. But no blue. Do you want a red? You guess so. All right. Here's a sandwich. There's a red. You wanted a chocolate popsicle. Do you want that, or do you want a red too? What did I say? I forget what I have already. <laughs> and the red. These are good. Would you like anything? Are you sure? It's no, no more money. Still just as free. All right. You're welcome. Enjoy the ice cream. Another satisfied customer. Satisfied trio. One man on a mission. Some people are just like, what is this cop driving around yeah. our neighborhood in yeah. an ice cream truck? I know. You're looking at him like, you? You? Ice cream? Ice cream? No? No? Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. We'll talk. Nope. We'll talk. Okay. Don't call my boss. We'll talk. A red. All right, two sandwiches and a red icy. We know we have red icies left. Yeah. And two sandwiches. All right. There you go. And there you go, ladies. All right. Enjoy. All right. So where are you taking me now? You didn't interview me about the lights or the siren or anything like that. That's right. The light show. Yeah. Let's do it. Of a basic package We've got the big bar up top lets everybody know that we're coming the little guys down on the bottom wig wagon yep setting you off you come around here to the side we got these big ones here they really when we're coming out into an intersection to break it you can see those big guys blasting the blue light and it knows that we're coming through the intersection so you saw FHP I think you guys outdid them with their with your lights there, with your light setup here. You went all blue too. Yeah, that thing's big and all blue, but we can't really run code three with this thing. Or why are, where are we going running code three to serve ice cream to people? But the lights do look cool, don't they? But in all seriousness, it does have the blue lights with the light package and stuff like that because we're going through these neighborhoods and we're driving slow. There might be kids coming out in the street and stuff like that. And whenever there's those blue lights going off, it makes people drive a little more carefully and kind of focus on what's going on. So they're gonna look at it and they're gonna be a little more cautious, especially when we have kids running around in the area. And then we got the wigwag going back here where the uh, reverse lights are. And then another big, nice and high up, tall bar. That way, you know, you can see it over cars and traffic and stuff like that. So make no mistake, the ice cream truck's coming. Great breakdown of the lights. One question though, come with me real quick. This is something that I noticed. Okay, what might that thing be right there? That is the horn. 
I saw you do a thing with FHP and stuff like that and testing how loud it is. Why don't I show you what we got here? As you saw on FHP, uh, we tested the horn. We didn't do it with Sweetwater, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do it with this one. We're going to follow up. We're going to do the horn, which is the sirens. And this bad boy has some unique sirens that uh, I don't think you hear on any other police car. It's a very sophisticated and difficult system. Uh, you know, about an hour and a half worth of training went into learning how to use it. So that's the siren box. Yep. Where's your light box? Uh, just installed right below it here. Uh -oh. There's a little lever. It says LED on. Wow. All right, guys, stand by. Here we go. Something about those songs, man. It just brings me to life. It makes a guy want to dance. That's it. It's either eat ice cream or dance. I can't eat ice cream because I'm on keto. Officer J, always coming through, my man. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for showing us the sweet uh, police car ice cream truck. So, um, last time you did a coin giveaway on your Instagram. Yep. Correct? They had to follow your Instagram. And thank you very much. You guys killed it on Instagram. Our Instagram's doing real well. I appreciate it. Um, do you got a coin giveaway for them this time? Yes, we have a coin giveaway this time. And this time, not just on Instagram, but it's gonna be related to our YouTube page. Both of them have the handle, at Sunrise Police FL, and we have six. Oh, sweet water! They want up you! What you're gonna have to do, is you're gonna have to first subscribe to this channel in order to win. Second, go over to their YouTube channel, subscribe, and then you want to send them over to Instagram. Yeah, and then come back over to come back over, check out our Instagram too. Instagram, follow, and while you're over there, might as well follow mine too. Here are the uh, handles. Okay, I'm gonna put all the steps down below so it's foolproof. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Boom. Once you get over to their channel and subscribe, go to the trailer. Yep. Comment done. And then you're eligible to win. Boom. Let's show off the new coin. So there's a the front side with the patch, the state of Florida flag, and the American flag. And then on the back, you have an officer with some community there because we're all about the community here in Sunrise. Goes right there with that ice cream truck. Awesome. All right, Officer Jay, there's only one thing left to do. You know what it is. Yeah, I think so. All right, my man, take it away. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. Mother! Long time no see. Yeah, what's up, Nick? Beautiful day out. Yeah, it's great. I want to do police cars again with you guys, but I don't know what car to do. I don't know. Any ideas? Are you allowed to eat ice cream on keto? No. Don't tell my wife. Alright. It's delicious.